Yeah. That's crazy. Look, they already got a bunch of them in the ground already. Underneath the bridge, and they were loading up with as many people. It's got to be dozens of people mm. in the back oh of my thing. Gosh. They take them to a nearby Walmart, mm. uh, and then the Walmart is where uh, I guess metro buses or school buses will take them to the shelter. They're all numbered, huh? I'm going to sit down here with Jake, who's got his dog Bubba. Jake, who is homeless. Jake, you found yourself some shelter here. Why why are you outside during during this entire hurricane? Well, I chose not to go inside yesterday because the Salvation Army and uh, Russian Winds homeless shelter where they were accepting people were caught killing everybody that was in there. So they want to help them as much so that they're never just walking out of here and feeling like they're going back onto the street. They work with them throughout the process here to help them adjust to this new world order that they are they're going to be living in after this. Oh. And I imagine there's so many questions, so much concern. But these are kind of small and Come on, dude very very difficult circumstances but some of the explanations for the delays and the red tape and the rules haven't made much sense to, to people who are searching for their loved ones and as we said some people in Joplin continue to be incredibly frustrated tonight the breaking news is that the local coroner now tells CNN that starting tomorrow some people under some circumstances will be allowed into the morgue to view remains Gary Tuckman is in Joplin tonight with the latest go, go. Looks like they got a bunch of them. Look, they're all that. All of you, huh? You're filming it? Yeah. It's all I'm filming right here. Yeah. And the case in point is Skyo Logston, the 16-month-old boy. His family frantic. He's missing for three days. I interviewed his father just yesterday. His father, Cord, in a hospital bed. His father was seriously injured in the tornado. His son was with him. He was convinced his son was still alive. He was saying, I know he's alive, but I just want to get into the morgue, have someone in my family get into the morgue, or get some pictures from the morgue so we know for sure. But they wouldn't let them in the morgue. I just noticed they're recording license plates now. He asks them to, I don't know if it's she or he, um, to pull over and he's recording license plates. What the hell? And we usually have an exit and an entrance and right now they're blocking out the exit. See? See how he's stopping? He's recording. Look at that. Good footage. Yeah, you can film. You could fit more. Yeah, well, it looks like you could fit maybe like, yeah, four coffins in one of those. Or shit, yeah, you could at least fit 30 bodies in one. Piled up, right? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, like a scale. Kind of muddy down here though. Oh, Man. Looks like they're gonna... Yeah, they're about... Recovery. having this yeah you walking on 
I think they're yeah, they, they already started covering it up, huh? You think? Oh, yeah, it looks like yeah. Kind of, it feels a lot more solid over here. I don't know. A little bit. It looks like you got through all of it. Yeah? This is a good day to catch this. Yeah, because I think the day I wanted to come by, it started raining. They got it all. They got they got land back here. Big ass trench. It's like they're about to do some more. All these are in the ground. I wonder, those look a little bigger though. You know, they're about the same size, right? Yeah, like these two, huh? Yeah. Progress. I think it's gonna be a lot more. You oh, probably yeah. see progress every every two weeks. Yeah. You'll see, you'll see major progress. There's a lot of them. It's all hard over here. That stuff right there is crazy. These came out of nowhere. Didn't even see them. Yeah. And it, yeah, that's the thing that that one guy that had that picture on. On Infowars, he only took a picture of those.